Okay guys, welcome to this, the English version of setting up the access points, Unify access points, AC, long range, and the access points with normal range. This one in this case is the access point AC light uh, for long range, high speed of course. Uh, this one is what you get when you open the box. You're going to find the device of course. You're going to find the power cable and the mounting bracket in case you're going to install it over a drywall or uh, for ceiling. You're going to find the power over Ethernet, uh, which is going to provide power and local area network to your device. Very important when you would have to connect to remote locations. You're going to connect, mm, for example, right here the local area network it can go directly to your switch and a very uh, small patch cord if you're going to set it up on top of your table to set your device initially you're just going to counterclockwise rotate the back cover and you're going to see that uh, by connecting the cable in a few moments you're going to have your device ready to be configured through your local area network The blinking light is going to show you that the device is already connected, is powered up, and you're going to have to connect it uh, to configure it through the software. In the ubnt.com site, you're going to find mm, the the Unify software. You go to support, you go to downloads, the Unify systems. Uh, in the download area, you're going to find not only the software available for upgrading the firmware of the devices but you're also going to find the the bundle software that comes with the controller this one is the one you should be consider even for your home you're gonna see why mm, in release notes right here you're going to find uh, what you get when you download the firmware individually or if you prefer to download and install the bundle firmware firmware that comes with the uh, with the installer once you download it like I have right here you're going to double click it install it and follow the instructions it's a very simple setup once you open the the controller you're going to see that the service has started and you have a complete web brow uh, website running on your computer right here of course it tells you to ignore the certificate error that you get you click on next and you're going to find uh, the, the software is going to find the devices that are available in your network you just adopt it you're going to adopt it and you click next you're going to set up your network I'm gonna put uh, here I'm gonna set up a test network with a security of a test network again and you're going to configure the software we're going to provide a username and we're going to provide a password for the controller which is the software that is gonna run in your computer very simple you don't have to know much about this and you're going to see that uh, if you load to the local host and the port 8443 you're going to find the web server this one is a very interesting page that is gonna show you a lot of information this these guys have thought about everything it's very cool you don't have to do anything and you're gonna have a plenty uh, bunch of statistics that are, are going to fill you up with um, information your network you're going to find right here for example the devices which is the most important tab that you are going to initially set up you're going to see the device name and that it has been already adopted so you're not going to find the adopt button that means that it is your device has been already connected to your network we're going to confirm right here the upgrade of your of your firmware we're going to confirm it and remember that this has been already downloaded and was bundled with the firmware in statistics you're going to see a lot of information that we're going to see in other videos and the scalability that these uh, unify systems have 
right here you're going to see that it is upgrading um, right here in the meantime you can uh, uh, name your device I'm going to put here the name of that device and we're going to save it remember that this one is our English version this one is like our living room uh, device in this case when we see provisioning that means that the device is already taking the configuration that the clients are going to see when they try to connect to your network so it's very simple that means that the device is pulling the information that the controller has right here we're going to restart our living room access point and you're going to see uh, that about it takes uh, a minute a minute 30 seconds to be ready again and working Right here in radio you can choose a lot of information that is customizable uh, like for example the static IP, the network, the channels and uh, many other cool stuff that we're going to see in different videos for more advanced users. Wireless uplinks when you want to uh, configure your device as a repeater. And right here the custom upgrade that you can do it manually in case you want to roll back to a previous version of your firmware or if you just want to update to the to the most recent firmware. It is important that this uh, page has to be available uh, all the time or this service has to be available all the time in order to get the statistics running. This one is the version that this software is running. It's a lot of information that you can get from just running the controller and the statistics page. Okay, now we are going to see how we can connect to your uh, to our network. This one is the statistics page that we're going to see in a few moments. Okay, let's connect. Okay, we look for our network. Remember, this is this is the test network, and you're going to find. Uh, and you're going to type the same password in this case. Let's connect and let's go back to the to the statistics page. We can check that we are connected just by checking the IP that our network, or in this case, our access point or our router router has given us or has assigned us. In the clients, I'm going to reload here the page, and we're going to see that right here there has been one connection uh, that we have downloaded some information and this one is the device that has connected to the network we're going to see a lot of information here on the right side of your screen the name of the device uh, the IP how much information I have downloaded from the internet which is very important if you want to block users that are just draining your internet connection in history you're going to find a lot of information that we're going to check in future videos. Let's make a download test here from our device and see how this statistics page works. Let's test it. Usually this downloads a big file from the server and uploads it again. I just speed, uh, sped up the video so you can see it a lot faster. Here it shows uh, your downloaded information and your uploaded information. In statistics, this just takes live. Okay, this is going to show you more information. Uh, when you use it more and more, you're going to find more cool stuff right here. Okay, we're going to watch in another video what happens when you get a lot of information, a lot of traffic, and hundreds of users connecting to your own network. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to subscribe.